In this video, I want to talk about creating track mats. Track mats are an extremely useful feature in After Effects. Watch the way this type gets revealed. Okay, let's walk through how this is created. You can make a new comp. Let's call this flyaway. And I'm using 1920, 1080, 29.97, just three seconds. I'll say OK. Now to begin with, I'm just going to put a new solid in the background. The color doesn't really matter because I'm going to add under effects, generate, gradient ramp. Now this is just a quick way to add a little bit of dimension to your background. I'm going into the effects control and I'll change these colors to make it kind of a sky, a little bit darker, something like that. Now I'm going to take my type tool and I'm going to type fly. I'll make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to go to my workspace text. I'll make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to duplicate it. Command D. Hit the P for position and move this down. Double click the word and I'll write away. I'm going to start with away on this side and fly over on this side. Now I want them to reveal out of the sky, kind of magically appear out of the sky. So I could do it with masking, but a, an easier way is actually to do track mats. So with track mats, I'm going to take my rectangle shape tool and I'll just create a shape over the top of fly and make sure that it is above fly in the timeline. And then I'm going to click on the word fly in the track mat column in the timeline. I'm going to click on fly and choose alpha invert. That's going to hide fly. And let's animate it now. So I'm going to hit P for position and I'll go out 15 frames and slide on the x-axis and just move it out. I'm just going to let it keep going. I'm going to make it move very slowly, I think. So I'm going to move this on out to like one second. Let's see how that plays. Okay. All right, so it's hitting really hard, so I'm going to right click and add an easy ease in. Go into the graph editor and I'm going to pull this direction handle all the way out. And let's play it again and see how that works. Nicer. All right, now let's do the same thing with away. I can actually just duplicate the shape layer, move it above away and then reposition it. I'm going to turn on the eyeball for a minute so I can see it. There we go. See, when you create the track mat, it automatically hides the layer that's doing the masking. Again, alpha invert. Automatically, the eyeball goes off for the shape layer, and the shape layer that's doing the masking gets a square with a white box in it. And now let's animate away. So I'll put in one keyframe there, and I'll go out to one the other way. I will right click on this one also, make it an easy ease in, go into my graph editor, pull this out, and let's play these. It looks like it needs to move further to the left to be completely hidden. When the type first appears, there's a very sharp edge, so I'd like to soften that edge, so I'm going to Put a blur on these shapes. So I'll just do a box, fast box blur. Something like that. So I've got it at 25. And I'll do the same thing on the, the other mask. Make that one 25. Now let's see what we've got. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to take the seal movie and drag it to the new comp button. That will create a comp that is exactly the same size as the footage item. And now I'm going to create 
a track mat that will make it appear that the type is coming up from behind this uh, kind of hill of seaweeds. So for this one, I will use my pen tool. The pen tool, as long as nothing is selected, the pen tool will create a shape layer. So let's come right along here and create a shape. Okay, so I've got my shape. Now I'm going to just turn that off for a minute while I create my type. And I'm just going to say, hello. We're gonna have a seal come in the screen here. And so I'll just say, hello, and have it come up from behind the grass. So it's gonna start down here. I'll go ahead and put a position keyframe in right now. And move down here. I think right around here, just before the seal comes in, I'm going to put a keyframe and then I'm going to move it. It's going to come up like this. See how that feels. I'd like it to go a little bit faster, so I'm going to drag this in closer. Go faster. Okay, and then we'll take this one and make it a easy is in. And I will put the shape above hello, drag it down so it's behind here. And again, this will be an alpha invert. So alpha invert will hide the item. And then as it comes out, it's going to get revealed. Now notice what's happened. The, the camera has moved a little bit. And so the hill has actually moved down. So I'm going to click on my shape layer, hit position, and move the shape down. Fits the grass hill better. And then I'm going to add some fast blur to that to soften the edge. So let's open up the blur and uh, I think we did 25 before. So let's do that again and just play it and see how it looks. Okay, so that works pretty well. Let's do one where the type is revealed at the beginning and then as it animates, it gets hidden. So I'm gonna take my type tool, and just type in track map. I'm going to turn on my guide so that I can see my action and title save. Because I want this to be like right in the middle. I think I'll drag a guide down there. Duplicate this one. Move it down. And we'll name this one Matt. Make sure nothing is selected down here. I'm going to create a rectangle and put it above track. Click on, make sure it's right above track. Click on the word track, and then this should be a regular alpha map. So track will appear where it is underneath the shape. We can duplicate the shape, Command D, and place the shape above mat. Uh, we will turn on the eyeball for a moment, hit position, move this down so it's hiding mat. And then again, click on the word mat and alpha mat. Now let's animate our type. So I'm going to click on the word mat, make a keyframe at the beginning, 20, uh, let's do 15 frames. I'm going to move it up. We go back to the beginning, click on the word track, hit position, make a keyframe. Go to 15 frames and drag it down. So let's play it, see what happens. That's kind of a cool technique. Okay, so I, th I think you get the idea. Track mats are really easy to create. They're a lot of fun. Oh, there's one more that I want to show you. And that's how we can put video inside of typography. Make it appear that the video is playing inside the type. So I'll do another one. I'll just call it this one um, video in type. And I'll say OK, and I'll just leave this with a black background. 
want to make this really large. And I will take this smoke video. It needs to go below the type. The type is going to be doing the masking. We're going to put the alpha mat on the smoke layer. And now the smoke appears inside the type. So it's kind of a cool technique. Let's scale them up. So I could scale either one. I want it to move towards the camera. So I'm going to hit scale at the beginning. Two seconds. and scale it up. Now I have to be careful because it can't go bigger than my video. But what I can do is then make the video a child of the type so that when the type scales up, the video scales with it. Something like that. Let's see how that works. And there you have it video inside of